So we build a revenue tracker. So oftentimes we are, since we are getting a lot of licensing agreement, we wanted to track uh, and get the updates and the revenues from our partners. So Jan created the front end on Bubble. So if based on uh, what the model is, if it's revenue share, if it's per unit, the uh, the partner, they log in into the Bubble app, they report their revenue. So, like, okay. so this is what the uh, partner would see. They would come over here, they would report their revenue. Let's just say it cost 5,000, we save it. Behind the scenes, we are running a workflow which will generate uh, the the value, the invoice for them, send them the invoice and also add the invoice in any time, uh, sorry, in bubble. So we, we see now we have the invoice. If we click on it, it will take us to the invoice and then they can refer the invoice. So this is what the workflow looks like. So it gets triggered by the webhook node. And then we have condition checking it if it's a per unit base or if it's a, a revenue share. And then we get the information from the Google sheet because uh, for different partners, we have different kind of agreements for someone is uh, giving 30%, someone is paying 25%. So we are getting that from the Google sheet. We are in the function node, we are then calculating that value. And then in QuickBook, we are simply uh, creating the invoice. We are getting information from Bubble getting the invoice from QuickBook, uploading it, and also sending an email. Uh, and the other thing we are also doing in here is we are sending a reminder email. So on the 25th of every month, they are going to get an email saying like, hey, it's time to update your revenue so that they can go in the portal, update their revenue, and then this process takes over. So this is going to, now again, we have partners uh, with whom we work, we get uh, revenues monthly, quarterly, and annually. So this is the workflow for monthly, but similarly, we have the same workflow for quarterly and annually. Another workflow that I could not finish was uh, checking if they have reported the revenue. If not, we then send them again a reminder like, hey, uh, can you please update this and stuff like that? So that, you know, we are basically doing a follow-up on that. So yeah, that's, that's it. Anything else, Jan, that we should add? No, I think it's the most important thing. It's like generally, I think it's we can build this whole thing. If you go to partners.n.n.io, it's like it's just a whole bubble app. So we can really build like a whole portal out of that. It's like, and also we have then our own backend that we can theoretically see different numbers and we can follow up and create new partners and things like that. I think he mentioned all important things. Nice. Very cool. Okay.